All right, here we got Errol Spence, the true versus uh, Showtime Sean Porter. I mean, it's going down tonight. Um, I'm going to tell you right off the bat, I think Spence is going to beat Porter. Point blank, period. Uh, this is a test for both guys. Both guys uh, haven't fought uh, somebody like each other. They haven't. Um, uh, the reason why I think Spence is going to beat Porter is Porter ain't got no knockout power. Porter has no knockout power whatsoever. When was the last time you see Porter knock somebody out? When was the last time you see Porter knock somebody down? When was the last time you seen a referee stop the the, the fighter and, and and look into his eyes or look at him and see if the, the dude wanted to continue when Porter's fighting somebody? When was the last time you seen that? As big as Porter is, as muscular he is, he has no power. Zilch. He likes to outwork you. He wants to go to the scorecards. He always looks to go to the scorecards. <coughs> Contrary to what Porter's saying about him stopping Spence, ain't going to happen. I don't, know, I don't even think he's going to hurt Errol Spence. Uh... We're going to see who will is going to get broken. You know, now if a will will get broken, and I'm going to give, you know, Spence will. I've seen it tested before. I've seen him when he fought Kel, Bro Kel Brook. Kel Brook was putting hands on that boy for the first seven rounds, and you can see the frustration in, in, in Spence's face, and you can see that his will was deteriorating. Spence Hart made him fight through it. Got to that eyeball, that eye socket, broke him down, started working his body, got on his game, he beat Kell Brook, got through it. But what I'm saying is I've seen Spencer's will tested with a fighter that's not a come for type fighter. But he has nothing to worry about fighting Porter because Porter has pillows in his gloves. No power. Leading up to the fight, Porter beat him. Press conferences, face-offs, all that. Real comfortable, relaxed, calm, collective. Talking real good. Every time some uh, uh, seemed like Spence was always frustrated. Defending himself. Didn't like what Porter was saying. It was just, we were just weird to me. Even the weigh-in. When they stood next to each other and, and Spence put his hand, his arm up, and then Porter put his up and he put his down. After he, I mean, it just... Spence is going to have to work on his promoting promotion of these fights. If you want to be big time and making all this guru, this this whole whole bunch of money, you got to. You can't. And you hear people say, "Well, they got to be humble." No, you can be humble, but you can't fight both. But per, both fighters cannot be humble if they're at the top of the sport. They both can't be humble. You can have two guys that are not humble, and then it's, it, the pay per view numbers show. You know, it's it's, it's a lot of pay per views. Uh, when they watch, they tune in to watch the fight, or you can have somebody that's humble and a good guy, you know, so sweet and soft spoken. And long as you fight somebody that's not, it'll sell the fight. You can't have two p people uh, doing the same stuff. And, and Porter's and Porter stuff is so forced, trying to promote the fight. It's so fake. It makes my stomach twist and turn and get knots. I get sick of looking at Porter when he does his promotion, trying to hype the fight up. And I'm sick of Kenny Porter. I'm so tired of them. I want to see, actually, I do want to speak, I, personally, as a boxer fan, I want to see Spence beat Porter, because I, I, I'm, I'm sick, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm just tired of that, dude. I'm just tired of them, I'm tired of the way they talk, and it's so fake, they dodge fighters, and then they finally fight Spence, and then, you know, now they're talking all this trash, I'm sick of that stuff, him, Porter, uh, Kenny Porter, I want his dad to feel the loss, I want him to feel it, and I want Spence to win so he can fight Ke uh, Crawford. I'm sick of everybody uh, ducking and dodging and hiding. And then Thurman's having surgery on his hands so he can have more tuna fights when he was just wanting to fight Pacquiao in a rematch. I'm tired of this. If he was going to fight Pacquiao, he wouldn't have had the surgery. Since he ain't fighting Pacquiao, he has surgery so he ain't got to fight Crawford or Spence. I know what he's doing. I think he's slick. But anyway, I do got Errol Spence. I want Porter uh, to fight with that afro. 
I want him to fight with his fro. Don't braid it up. 